Steph was Steph. He's the MVP. I mean, he's had a, a brilliant season. Um, you know, the shooting is uh, it's hard to describe because I, I don't think we've ever seen anybody shoot the ball the way Steph does off the dribble and off the catch. Um, seven for nine from three. I mean, it's, um, it's remarkable. Uh, just a tremendous performance. Steve, there's a lot of, I guess, things you could circle. But would you say with the lack of turnovers in the first half, uh, the defensive intensity, what, what thing would you circle to say maybe was the most important factor or some of them? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the halftime box score was uh, really telling. We shot 45%. Harrison was 0 for 6. I think Clay was 4 for 13. Um, we shot 4 for 15 from 3. Um, you look at that box score, you think, well, you know, they didn't play that well. We had one turnover, which was an illegal screen on Harrison. Um, we defended like crazy. And because we didn't turn it over, we didn't have to guard them in transition. And so we're up 25 points with a box score that doesn't look that impressive from a shooting standpoint. It's a great lesson for our team. If we defend like crazy and we take care of the ball, we're going to be in good shape. And because we're us, we decided to turn it over 13 times in the second half <laughs> just, just to keep it interesting. But uh, we're still growing. We're, we're still learning. But tonight, the first half was... Uh, Probably the best lesson our team could learn uh, and could understand. It's all about just valuing every possession and, and defending like crazy and everybody competing. And when we do that, we're tough to beat. Dr. Thompson, Barry, two questions for you, Coach. Number one, will you be uh, hoping for a mechanical failure on the plane? <laughs> I told you it wasn't a big deal. You guys were making this it was huge heroic. deal out of the plane being four hours late. I mean, you know, we're sleeping in the four seasons and we're eating catered meals. And we're, <laughs> we, we, we're, we live the life in the NBA. We're four hours late. You guys need to settle down. No big deal. <laughs> so when you, that, uh, I guess the, that was a lot of poise, you know, professional, very business-like mentality. Did you sense that, you know, it would bring their A game coming into this game? I did. Um, <laughs> I felt like uh, we didn't play our best the first two games, but we played well enough. And um, reminded me a little bit of the Memphis series. Uh, you know, our defense was regular season good, but not championship good. We were making too many mistakes. And um, I felt like we were ready to, to play our A game, which we did in the first half. It was a, a terrific defensive effort. We did the job on James, who's so hard to to, to slow down, but we did a much better job on him. We covered up some of the mistakes that we made in games one and two. And um, again, just taking care of the ball and, and valuing every possession. And we were uh, we were sharp, but we we sort of felt like it as a staff. We felt like we were due to to have that type of effort. Steve, my full contest for the area. Uh, obviously, it's that was special, but what were your impressions of what you got from Bogut and from New Zealand? Uh, Bogut was terrific. Uh, you know, both both guys were in foul trouble uh, most of the night, but the, the option to have Festus out there against someone like Dwight is uh, a real luxury. You know, he's athletic, he's strong, he's really come a long way this year defensively. Um, and he played, he played big minutes. But both those guys were really important to our defense, um, it was just anchoring the pain and protecting the room. Were you grateful for the 12 second half turnovers so you'd have something to tell them tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. I'm waiting for that game where we can uh, value every possession, both halves. But uh, it, it was, uh, as I said, it was a good lesson for us in the first half, just the way the way it all unfolded. Coach, what did you like specifically about what you guys did defensively to Harden tonight? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's hard to stop him. I mean, he's he's got an incredible pace to his game. You know, he he sees angles, he gets into the the cracks of the defense, and there's little subtle things that you try to do that 
you know, he, he may explore it, he may not. Um, but I just thought we did a better job taking away some of the some of the angles that he was attacking us on in the first couple of games, and then he missed some shots that he hit games one and two also. Steve, when you talk about Steph shooting it like we've never seen, what in your eyes distinguishes him or makes him different than other great shooters you've seen in the past? What, what's his special thing? I, I think it's the ball handling that leads to the shot. You know, um, people ask me all the time you know, who I would compare him with. Um, I played with Mark Price years ago. Uh, Mark was uh, had a, a skill set that was um, really fun to watch. Great ball handler, you know, pull up on a dime. Uh, Steve Nash, although Steve really preferred to make the pass and he was a reluctant shooter at times, could still shoot off the dribble. But I don't think we've seen anybody this quick ability to create space and then pull up from six, seven feet, you know, the line uh, with this kind of fearlessness and confidence. Uh, he's uh, he's really something. Um, it's one. Okay. Um, it Very seemed good. It seemed like you uh, switched things up in terms of who was guarding Harden a bit and had Steph on Ariza for a stretch. What went into the thinking on how, how you handled your perimeter defense uh, in this game? Uh, you know, with any great player, you, you, you just have to give them different looks. You can't feed them the same thing over and over again. So we just tried to mix it up a little bit more tonight. Harrison guarded him well. Um, started on um, Clay, Andre, Sean Livingston. Uh, had a crack at him, and we did some switching and that kind of stuff, like we always do. Um, but I think that's the strength of our team is our versatility defensively and our ability to to try different things uh, because we have so many uh, like-sized players uh, who are capable of guarding multiple positions. Great, thank you. Mikhail, be here in a couple of minutes.